good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, guess what? We dropped our trailer. Yeah, so now we're here at this little garden restaurant. We're gonna go inside and grab us some breakfast, yeah. We went on to the place where we're uh, delivering our load and they said back her in door five so we backed her in there and then he said well you got to drop your trailer and because uh, it was like inside the building and so he said uh, drop your trailer and uh, drive forward and we'll close the door and and once the door opens then you know the the load is unloaded so i asked how long is it going to be till you guys unload it because i looked in the i looked in the trailer right obviously because i opened the door right and everything is just on boxes it's just laying on the well not you know it's just standing on the floor there's nothing on pallets so i knew it's going to take him a good while to get unloaded and he said i'll oh, probably won't be till like lunchtime before they're done unloading the trailer so uh i said all right well i guess then i'll just go down to tim hortons or whatever and go grab me a bite to eat and i see oh there's a little restaurant here their breakfast restaurant or whatever so i'll go in here and uh I'll go get me some breakfast. Alrighty guys, we are done now with breakfast. Now we're just gonna go back to the uh, customer where uh, our trailer is. Yes, it's only been an hour, an hour and a half since we've been over here, but oh well, that's all right, I guess. Go back anyways, just in case they're done earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. And then we'll just have to sit and wait until they are done, right? Nothing else I can do. Don't have a reload yet either. Mind you, it's only 7.30 uh, central time. 8.30 their time up here. So uh, we gotta wait at least another hour probably till dispatch decides to give us a, a reload. Hopefully that won't be too long. So that way I can start planning on uh, my route on where, which route I'm gonna be taking towards my next load, right? So I'm gonna look it all up, all that stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, I will be back in a few. We are just about to our customers, so I don't really wanna show you guys our customer here we go guys and gals we have gotten unloaded finally it's like 11 30 our time 12 30 eastern time so uh, we have gotten us a reload but that is only to, to the entrance to the right on highway that's only scheduled for west tomorrow so I tried to call them like three or four times and they'll never answer their phone. And I wanted to try and see if I could get there today and possibly get loaded. It says their office is open till uh, five o'clock and they're never answering me. So I guess we're just gonna go there and find out. If they ain't gonna answer their phone, then it's I can't help it. Meters. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 417 West on Highway 417 West I mean, according to my message, I'm only scheduled in for tomorrow. But still, you know, I could go down there. It's only an hour and 15 minutes drive from here. It should be, you know, fairly easily uh, possible to get loaded. You know, I could be there around. Oh. I guess I took the exit too quick. Alrighty. I guess we're gonna have to go make us a U-turn then. Alrighty guys, here we are. We made our U-turn. Wasn't too bad. It was a new street that they had built up here. And their uh, GPS didn't even have that in there, but uh, I managed to make a U-turn, or not really a U-turn. I had to just take the exit ramp and go over the uh, this highway and, come back right but uh, yeah we had to make a little bit of a turn and then we were back on this road again yes indeed well, that's good now we're gonna try and make our way down to uh, our reload place man these roads are rough up here 
Yeah, we got about 92 kilometers to go. It would usually take about an hour to get there, but knowing there's going to be a few towns and trying to get through Ottawa, we got to go through Ottawa and then on to Highway 7 and go down that way. So, uh, so yeah, it's going to be a little more than an hour, I expect. But it will be okay. I'm pretty sure it should be there around 2 o'clock. So let's get down over there and I guess keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best, right? Hopefully we can get loaded today. That would be awesome. I can get loaded and get down the road a few hours yet. I mean, we did have an early start today, like 5.30 in the morning central time. So it would mean that we would have to stop pretty early in the afternoon, I guess. But, well, actually, you know, it could be 5.30, so 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30 when I would have to go off duty so as long as I get loaded here pretty quick I mean it would be one o'clock my time I get there if they would actually load me no, I could actually get down the road a few hours yet you know speed limit reduced ahead so we'll see what happens I'll keep you guys up to date on what happens so uh, we'll catch you all a little bit later all right guys we have finally gotten loaded it's 3 30 in the afternoon now and that's my time so it's 4.30 over here, but uh, hey, that's all right. We got our 45,000 pounds of stuff. Now we are super heavy, but uh, I guess that's all right. We'll try and get back to uh, Highway 17 and then uh, we'll get back on the big roads and then we'll be able to put the hammer down. We'll see how far we get today. Don't know exactly how far we're going to be able to get but uh, we got a few hours we can actually drive, right? Like I said earlier, we can go till 930. So, uh, but it's going to make it for a long day. Speed warning. But at least we'll be uh, on the road and we know what we got. We're loaded. So we're good to go. We're just taking this to Winnipeg Terminal. So I should be able to make it home then Saturday evening. So that means I can drive far enough tonight to where I can make it uh, home Wednesday uh Speed limit reduced to half. Wednesday night and uh, still drive home from Winnipeg, you know? So, yeah, I'm happy. Didn't do a whole lot of miles today, but at least we managed to get our load on. I know we had to, uh, I don't know if I told you guys this, I don't think I did. But we got there, we drove there anyways, they didn't answer their phone. So we drove down there and... Uh, we didn't have the right pickup number. So I contacted, uh, contacted dispatch. Now, of course, they didn't have the right one either. So they had to email back and forth. And that took a little while to they finally got back to me. And finally got an answer back from them. And uh, we got the right number. So that worked, supposedly. So we're happy, happy, happy. Yeah. So now we are going to make our way home. And it was beautiful sunshine there earlier. Now it's starting to get cloudy. That kind of sucks, but... Oh well, as long as it's not raining, we're okay, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm hearing some kind of sirens somewhere. I don't know. I heard some kind of sirens somewhere. Oh, there they are. That's what I thought. I heard some kind of sirens somewhere. There's a meat wagon coming this way. Yeah, he's going to be passing us here very shortly. So we're going to give him space go where they need to go right there you go somebody's hurt or something so 
let them uh, do their thing and we will give them space. I always try. So, let's get into this lane up here. Anyways, we'll get out of here and then we'll be back in a little bit. Well guys, the sun is starting to go down, it looks like it. And we are just giving her. Yes, indeed we are. We haven't made one stop yet. We're just cruising along here and debating on how far we're going to go today. I'm sort of thinking about trying to make it up to North Bay tonight. Don't know if we'll actually get up there, but uh, there sure ain't too many other places we can stop at, but there is a few here and there, but I don't know. I just went by a truck stop. That's one of the last ones, the official truck stops that's out here from here to North Bay. So we might have a good way to go up to North Bay yet. But uh, yeah, we are coming up to the area where there's a lot of I think they got this one big stretch up here where there's like a military uh, base out here. And so the other day when I come down here, I wasn't able to turn on my cameras fast enough, but uh, there's a whole bunch of military vehicles traveling down on this uh, on this Highway 17 here. So that was kind of nice to see. But uh, haven't seen any today. I don't know if I'm exactly up to the point yet either, but uh, I'm getting closer and closer to it. I'm sure that the people that are around from this area probably know, if you watch the signs that we just passed, there are them green signs up there. Alrighty guys and gals, we are finito for today, at least with the driving part. Yeah, that's right. We have made it as far as North Bay, Ontario. And I gotta do something here real quickly. Yeah, I've been uh, getting a request to do a shout out. So, let me go to uh, my video. Let me see if I can find this comment. Yes, I've been uh, asked to give a shout out to this guy right here. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, let's hope we can uh, focus in on that. He does mostly uh, Europe Truck Simulator 2. That's basically the type of games that he plays. Let me open up his uh, plays. He only got a few uh, videos on there, but he's a new uh, new uh, YouTuber, and he's only got 16 subscribers right now. So uh, he asked me to give him a shout out, and I said, you know, generally I do give shout outs unless it's a super really bad channel or whatever. Uh, then I would not give a shout out, but uh, I have checked out his channel and you know he's got, he's got okay videos in there for simulator. I mean, of course, he can improve on some stuff, but uh, hey, that's not for me to judge. I was only asked to give a shout out, not my opinion, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, if you guys like to watch some uh, Europe. Uh, truck simulator 2 games being played on YouTube videos hey check them out if I remember I'll put the link in the description box for uh, him so you can find him easier and that way you can just go directly to his channel and if you do choose to uh, subscribe to him hey let him know that I sent you his way or her way I don't know if it's a lady or a guy I have no idea but uh, that's about all we got for today. After all waiting and getting unloaded and getting reloaded, all that waiting time, we uh, still managed to get a few hundred kilometers in today. So that was fantastic. I'm happy about that. 
so now it's time to go to bed and that's right so if you like today's video I know it's a little short but uh, if you liked it you know the routine give me a thumbs up share the video hey and if you found it that interesting hey and you're new to our channel hey wouldn't wouldn't you do me a favor hit that subscribe button here that would be muchly appreciated so with that being said good night everybody we'll catch you tomorrow right here trucker rudy signing out <laughs>